All right, everyone, how's it going? How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good one. Yes, we are going to talk about Aptera, and they're doing some interesting things with it. But you know what? Let's get into this baby, and we'll talk about it right now. All right, welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. Hey, listen, uh, Aptera is doing some interesting things. And right now it looks like they are actually performing a magic trick. And we're going to take a look at this video and talk about it and talk about some other Aptera subjects. All right, anyway, let's get into this baby. All right, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? That was pretty awesome. They're showing off the speed of the Aptera and how it can even do a magic trick like that, how it can snatch the tablecloth off the table and leave the food on the table. But it looks like they're also gonna do something else. It looks like they may make the beta disappear. Uh, let's check this video out. Last month, we completed testing our beta vehicle at the Balauco Proving Grounds in Italy with Denise Engineering. This testing was used to complete our final correlation of our virtual suspension model with how the suspension performs in real-world situations. We tested lateral and longitudinal dynamics such as frequency slip and harsh deceleration. Now that this testing is complete, beta is retired, and with this correlation complete, we now have the necessary tweaks to our final suspension geometry and have released our chassis and suspension for our PIs to be built. We don't have the first chassis on site yet, but we're making amazing progress in San Diego. So it looks like they needed to run some more tests on the suspension and the beta is the best testing grounds for that. And it looks like the information that they gathered is really going to finish up the suspension for the PI. And that's just excellent news. But I mean, it's just interesting. I thought they actually had finished all the testing on the suspension back a while ago. And this, this is the video I remember from that. Let's take a look. Um, the discontinuities between the foam core, the resin, and the skin, they're difficult to model. And so typically, the only way you can characterize them is, is through destructive testing. But this SMC material from CPC, along with the aluminum, both which are well understood in their behavior, they can be modeled perfectly, so we don't have to do destructive testing. We can have high high degree of confidence of the simulation versus real world testing. And a lot of things that we do in digital, then um, uh, we also test in an empirical manner as well out in the field. And and again, okay. going back onto Nathan's team and chassis and suspension, uh, this is this is what they do, and they will be continuing doing uh, taking the digital data and predictions and, and, and make sure that the real world uh, behaves exactly the, the same way as in the computer. Yeah, the previous frame analysis was really finite element analysis, how that material changes uh, on impact and under stress. Uh, but we also have simulations on how the vehicle moves and what the kinematics uh, are of the vehicle. Um, and that helps us with analyzing things like how will the vehicle react in curb strikes and how will the vehicle react, you know, um, on pothole tests and, you know, swaying back and forth and things like that. So we actually take, this is uh, beta, uh, instrument it up, put a lot of uh, computers and uh, sensors on it, uh, and then go out and test how the vehicle actually performs in the world so we can correlate that data to what happened in the simulation. And if you get really good correlation, then when you make a change in the future, you know that that change is gonna work in a predictable manner. Yeah, and the curb strikes are pretty violent. I mean, it busted <laughs> yeah. uh, all three tires, I think. Uh, it didn't just deflate them, it busted them. But it allowed us to collect the data uh, to then put into the Adams model so that we have a very high degree of concordance between real life and the Adams model. So like you said, we can make a small change in software and have a high degree of confidence that it's gonna behave that way in the real world. And this chart shows the red line is the simulation, uh, and the blue lines are when we actually went out and got to real-world data. So we had 95% correlation, which is just amazing, and shows you how far the simulation tools, uh, tools have come. So you can see here, as they were showing, that they actually have a 95% correlation between real-world data and uh, simulated data from the computer. And some of these tests were very violent. I mean, you could look at how that actually came out. But um, the testing that they did was no doubt necessary. 
And it looks like the information that they gathered from the last test, um, the shock resistance, vibration, heavy uh, deceleration. I mean, all that no doubt was needed for the PI build and they're coming out with that. Um, but I just want to show this, that, that right here, when they did the real world test and you can see how violent it was because both tires are on the beta are flat. So they really ran the vehicle extra hard. And as you look at some of the pictures in the video that I just showed, you can see how much the punishment and how brutal it was that they took the beta through. So no doubt they needed to do that. But as Chris brought out that now the beta is going to be retired. So that's probably going to disappear. We probably won't see it again. Maybe unless you go to the Aptera facility and be able to walk around and see where they put some of their old Apteras at. But anyway, tell me, how do you feel about that? You think the beta is going to disappear? And how you feel about the magic act they did? That was pretty awesome, wasn't it? But of course, the best magic act is going to be when they put the PI on the road and they start mass producing it. That's going to be totally awesome. Oh, man, that is going to be the best magic trick that they can do. And I'm so looking forward to it. And I know a lot of you are looking forward to it as, as well. But anyway, tell me what you think. How you feel about the magic trick they did? Was that pretty cool or what? Uh, anyway, you guys take care. Y'all have a good one. And I got to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much. You guys just helped me out in so many different ways. You just, you just don't know, but I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. You catch all my Terra videos when they come out. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. So this video will reach a wider audience. All right. You guys have a good one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.